Hello, and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online Episode 3. I am kind of where we left off. Where we left, I left off was at Mistral. Get to the checkpoint so I can go back there when I want to. But for now, I'm going to do some side quests. So I just started this one that I started last time about the ghost figures that appeared when I picked up the books and stuff. So I ended up here at this place. So I'll just talk to Sai Saiheria Doro. This one does not understand. This shrine is supposed to be lit with an ever-burning flame. Perhaps Shehiradaro has thrown good money after bad. A simple Khajiit, doing what she can to survive. Sehiradaro came to this shrine for guidance. It said the flame gives visions to those who seek it, answers to unasked questions. Mysteries defined by the stars themselves. And if Sehiradaro makes some gold along the way, all the better. This shrine is key to all of these things. It's a shrine to Hermaeus Mora, Daedric Prince of Knowledge. They say if you stare into the fire, all will be revealed. But without the ever-burning flame, there is no way to find the lost books. Tones lost to the ages. They're full of secrets from an earlier time. A connection to our past and a bridge to our future. It doesn't matter what lies the spirit told. Sahira Doro will find those books. While searching for the shrine, a spirit appeared to me and warned me away. Don't you see? Hermaeus Mora rewards the pursuit of knowledge. The spirit is a test to keep lazy seekers away. That's her. It's the lying spirit. Where? Don't listen to these fools' words. The forbidden tomes must be destroyed. Place them in the shrine's flame, quickly. Uh... What? That isn't possible. No matter. I'll rekindle the shrine's fire with my own essence, but you must promise to destroy them. You saw what happens to those who possess the tomes. Then that is a blessing. Once the books begin calling to you, there is little time before they ensnare you completely. Burn the books. Don't let their burden destroy you. Uh. After I saw what happened to the other people, I'm pretty sure this is dangerous. And what you're looking after is just greed and money. So, even though you're one of my kin, I'm gonna have to burn the books. Should I? Yeah. Burn the books. <laughs> burn the books. Burn the books. Walk away. Walk away. Monster. No! The flames burn us! It hurts! It hurts! <laughs> well, I guess you're pissed at me now, aren't you? Let's see what you have to say. Ah, well. Sahiradaro bears no grudge and wishes you luck in your endeavors. Provided they involve no more burning of books. Oh my gosh, she's not mad at me at least. You've done it. The tomes are gone. I can't hear them anymore, I'm certain. But no one else shall fall into their trap. You managed what I could not. But it is done, which is all that matters. And of course my inventory is full yet again. We don't need stupid books in my inventory. You've done it. The time's I'll take this dagger instead. Alright, well, dark knowledge complete. Okay, let's see you at rank. What mission we can go. Okay, I think we should go for that one. Well, shoot. What the heck? Okay. Wood. Huh? Alright, so let's go. Oh, oh crap. I just skid down that mountain like a boss. Sky Shard founded that. Okay, I have to fight. 
summon. Yeah, I got a new skill, lightning. Damage enemies. Shock damage for 6 seconds and increasing my spell resistance and armor resistance for 6 seconds as well. Pretty useful. Alright. The cave. Basically for this mission, that tree is being taunted by some kind of weird chemical or something. And I'm supposed to figure out how to cure it. I think. Been a Quama master for over a decade. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm up to my neck in droppings, and I sure could use a hand getting out. <laughs> Ever try piloting a ship through a hurricane while your entire cargo of Quama eggs hatch and go bug nuts? Been there. Can't recommend it. After we wrecked, they made a Quama line toward this cave. I came after them, but they're a bit distracted. They always get surly after hatching, but these Kwama are downright unsociable. I tried to stop them from chewing on those huge roots. <laughs> they objected. Bumped into a fine-looking tree trunk on my way out. Thought I was done for, but it kept walking. Oh, Kwama didn't take to it, whatever it was. I heard them munching on it, same as those roots. Mm, the little ones seem scared of it. If you can help the pretty tree trunk do what it needs to do, I bet they'll head back this way. If they'd stop eating those giant roots, they might get better. But I don't blame you if you have to put down a few to save the rest. Just be careful. Nothing fiercer than a crazed Kwama. Not even my sister-in-law. <laughs> the heck is a Kwama? I'll soon find out. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know about you are, but you look cool. Hey, that, oh, that's a Kwama. Are you bad? Are you? Where the hell are you going? Nature guarding. He looked at me funny. Oh, there's a bad one. Take it out. I haven't seen any bad ones yet. Look at that tree. It's face. Or is it a she? I can't can't tell. Alright, well is that done? Come on. They go fast. What the? Okay, they just disappeared. How? I don't know how you get that flower in your hair, but I want it. Free. Praise Ifre. The miasma has cleared. Yet I sense this begins a new chapter for the great tree. Though the creatures gorge themselves upon its roots, this was a passing instinct. They can be taught to strengthen the great tree. The Kwama will soon learn the cave is their nest and treat the spirit as their queen. Together, they'll guard the cave against intruders who seek to harm the great tree. 
A new story can frighten any creature until it realizes its role within. And the inventory is full once again. Praise if The Kwama will soon learn. Okay, I just saved a tree, and yet it gives me a battle axe that's called the Root Splitter. <laughs> And didn't work out too well. Okay, next. Okay, those. Let's go find some people. I don't want to fight you one. Oh, that. Yeah, I can't take any. Let me drink something. Chug it down. I love doing the rolls, so so cool. Alright. Reminds me of a castaway. What is that guy doing? Oh, he's a bad guy. Yeah, son. Must be a lot of shipwrecks here. This one looks like it's intact. What are you shooting at? Okay then. No. Okay. Found someone. Malasifra, I'm glad you came by. Have you seen any other Marines along the beach? She's alive. I suppose that's some luck amidst all this wreckage. Can't say the same for my leg. If I don't put too much weight on it, I can manage a good hobble. Glow juice. By the gods, it just might. Soon as I can stand on my own, I'll head inland. Blessings upon you, stranger. I'll limp my way inland and find a safer place to wait for Sergeant Virion. Just knowing she's out there gives me hope for the rest. Well, okay. Their boat's pretty screwed up. There's, there's a lot of ships. Dang. It's a one hell of a storm. Oh, look at a chest. Damn it. There we go. Ah, uh, I broke it. What? There. Actually took it off, wait. I lost a lot of friends. I saw her swept overboard in that damn storm. Held on to the rigging long as I could, but it tore the skin off my palms. Ah. Uh. If I can't hold a weapon, I'm useless to my squad. Do you have any bandages? I lost my kit to the sea. Glow juice? Used to think this stuff was only good for practical jokes on snowy days. Once I can heft Spleen Shanker, I'll push through the beach and find Sergeant Ferian. How about you? Hope they appreciate their good fortune when you find them. I can get inland after I rest. Fight with purpose. Thank you. That must be horrible. Getting your skin off your palm ripped off. Eh. Uh. Uh, it just be like muscles. Dang. I will 
find you, my friend. Don't worry. Who are you? Were you part of the fleet? Alive? Good. That's good. Wave smashed me against the ship. Cracked a few ribs. Not the best feeling. I bet. Tastes like sandals boiled in mint perfume. What? But if it knits my ribs, I'll drink the whole bottle. Lieutenant Gellin pulled me ashore. Went to find shelter. Never came back. Headed to a nearby cave. Find him. Tell him we're all safe. Okay. Don't hit me, bro. A nearby cave. Well, this doesn't look too nearby to me. I wonder what this place would have looked like before. Modern, quote, modern history came. At least Temple looked, would look pretty cool if they're actually fully built. Jump. No damage taken. I guess this is the cave. What kind of rock is that? Hey, shut up, Sting. No one loves you. What's happening over here? Oh. I'll help you. Smite. Where is Captain? Okay, there's a, l a lot of death in here. Just look at all of those skulls. Oh, man. Yeah, you're dead. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Yep, he's dead. A lot of people are dead. Hello? Turns out my squad were the ones who found me. Ever consider a career as a Dominion Marine? You'd make quite a scout. My squad said you were looking for Lieutenant Gellin. Have you found him? What do you mean? First a hurricane blows out of nowhere and destroys our fleet. Then an able-bodied Dominion Marine is captured and tortured to death? What else was in that cave? Some kind of sacrifice? Lots of bones. This is too big for my squad to handle. We need reinforcements. Miss Dell spotted a beach ship nearby. It looks intact. And she spotted Dominion sailors aboard. We need to combine our forces and find who murdered Lieutenant Gellin. My squad and I need to pull his body out of that damn cave. Would you warn the sailors on that beach ship? They need to know it's not safe to wander around. Uh, what do I need inventory space? I don't need. Turns out my squad team first. Uh, some kind of we need to combine our forces and find who murdered Lieutenant Gellin. My squad is my inventory full. Uh, that's why I hate my inventory. Turns out my squad team first. Uh, some kind of we need to combine our forces. What? Dump stuff. Dump. Turns out my squad team first. Uh, some kind. We need to co wait. Take okay. It. Oh, there's the ship. I'm gonna suppose the barnacles. They look at bullet holes to me. Jumped over that guy's head. You want a slick arsed sea viper, or the hurricane killed hundreds? Oh, 
Well, I'm proud. And I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were. Oh, and are so sure. Talking Barnum. I'll just skip all this. Oh, Barnum. Captain Jimmy. Pride. Captain Jimmy took over. These aren't Dominion sailors. They're privateers. Just our luck. We'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do. Edelus is the best scrounger in the regiment. If you want, I can send him out to look for a helmsman's wheel. He's on his way. Anything else we can do? Onglorn is our best tracker. He can recover the Sun Sider in no time. I almost pity the Sea Viper who's holding on to the Sun Sider. Onglorn will recover it soon enough. What Nistel is is good with the mallet as she is with her sword. I can have her patch the Prowler's leaks. She'll have those leaks fixed in no time. What else? It's time for that mangy privateer to make good on his promise. Maybe you should do the talking. I'll just rub it in. Okay, well that was easier than I expected. That was fast. That was right. fast. There's room on the prowler for your marine friends. As long as they work for their meals. I said I'd consider it. Captain, something you'll want to hear. Hail. Oh, he, okay, he's Batman. The prowler will float. Ah, you're the captain. Due to your efforts, the prowler is free to sail once the tide comes in. Those Such marines a calm did their part as well. I have no reinforcements, but I offer something better. I know who's killing the Dominion soldiers, mm. and I know how to stop it. How do you know? Our lookout watched the Sea Vipers drag a Dominion Marine into a cave. Later, he saw your friends remove the Marine's body. If we weren't so short-handed, I'd have ordered his rescue. But three of my own crew were missing. Before we understood the danger, I sent my crew to scavenge among the shoals so we might repair the Prowler. We the Sea Vipers happened. Now there's a new storm brewing, and they fear- What am I supposed to do now? Talk to someone underground. <gasps> Roger that. Bookshelf? It's indeed it is. But nothing useful. Bookshelf? No. Desk? Nope. Nothing useful. Not gonna loot. No, not gonna loot. I can't. I, can't. I cannot loot. I can. I cannot not loot. Moonstones. Sweet. Oh hey there. That didn't give me anything useful. Uh, hello. The sea vipers are insane. They're trying to create another hurricane. Sir Verkildo's filthy mal. Yes, the Malmoor. Let's skip the dialogue. Save time. I'll pick. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, well, I'm supposed to go over there. I rolled in water. That was beautiful. What the heck? Something's happening over here, that's for sure. And the sky shard. Oh yeah. Dang, what is happening? Not okay. Just take it to Jew on the way, no biggie. What are supposed to do? Oh, hello there. My love to free you. I guess you're just gonna stay there and die. Sorry, buddy. Take lodestone from sea vipers. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't want to draw ball. This. I mean, no harm. Where would the stone be? Somewhere over here? What the heck? Where'd you go? Oh, he teleported. Oh, I got it. That was really easy. Uh, how am I supposed to get back? Balls. There we go. Okay, now I'm about to save them. Alright. Well, change of plans. You're gonna get saved, buddy. How does that make you feel? Okay. Don't worry. You're fine. Alright. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, what the heck? They won't kill me today! <laughs> but there we go. Oh, I cleared up. It's beautiful. Okay. Ah, oh, what the heck? I just hit a back roll into. I don't know what. Can I jump over this? Can I? Let's see. Indeed, I can. I attempted to do a roll, but I stopped. He was just kidding about it. Hello. Oh, no. Use every ability on him. Ow. That hurt a lot. There we go. There you are. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, get wrecked. Level 10. I did it. Sur and Workfield return just after the sky is cleared up. Then we'll finish repairs and shove off at high tide. You can, I don't want this. Sur and Wurf then we'll finish repairs and shove off at high tide. Oh, your marine friends fended off. Like you're clapping. Did I level up? I leveled up. I leveled up. I should go to Mistral then. Teleporting skills. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to Canarthi Thrush, which I already am, man. <laughs> Low. Fag. This was after three drams of white eye and a flag in the Oh, it's Mr. Fluffy here. This one has heard reports. You've kept busy. Good. You fit in now more than ever. How did things go? Clearly, you were meant to help us out. John and Jod have a sense of humor, yes? And of course, Raz thinks discretion deserves a reward. Wait a second, Mr. Fluffy here. Let me go sell some stuff. I see the delight in your eyes. You want something special, yes? Not really, no. Okay, well, I'll do that stuff later. This one has heard reports. Clearly, you are meant to keep your wits about you, my new friend. 
Mistral is the jewel of the Southern Seas. Kenarthi's Roost has an old treaty with the Without Mistral, the High Razum, main quest, the High, Razum, I the high Elf. He is the voice and spirit. Yeah, the main quest. See you later, Mr. Fluffy ass. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I completed two quests. They will need help rebuilding after the And now I'm starting the main quest. I'm not too keen on that. A little town like this won't be able to pay up front. We're leaving on the next boat we can get, right? You have a better idea? Spit it out! Hey, oh dear, hey, it's Catwoman. Only I'm just saying, look here. at this place. Do they look like they can afford us? You have a point. Mapia, what else? Let's ask around. I'm sure something will come up. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it with Catwoman. I'll see you guys in the next episode. What the heck is that guy doing? What the heck? <laughs> You're scavenging through nothing. <laughs> You're throwing things that are invisible. Beautiful. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Aren't you afraid? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm gonna do it too. What are you doing to that poor woman? Oh, they're both beggars, okay. That makes sense now. Alright, well, I'll end it there. Catwoman. I will see you guys later. Bye.